Good morning, Cavaliers. It's me, Mayumi. And Liel, here with your KCAV News. Yay, it's finally Friday. Liel, what do you plan on doing this weekend? Probably just relaxing, maybe watching some cartoons, you know? You still watch cartoons? Yeah, I'm planning on watching Barbie Life in the Dream House. Wait, you don't watch cartoons? I'm almost going to college. I don't have time for that. I'm too busy working on college apps. I also heard that cartoons affect your personality growing up. But like, they're relaxing and fun and can help handle stress, especially when you're doing college apps. I'm just not flat out interested. But Anyways, let's move on to college news. Buenos dias, Cavs. It's Jonathan. And Julia here with your college, college news. news. A quick reminder, seniors, that before you know it, college app deadlines will be due pretty soon. That's right. The UC application is due November 30th. And the CSU application is also due November 30th. The Boys and Girls Club actually has a college app series starting on October 18th and going till November 15th. Oh yeah, that's right. In 8-3 from 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. on Tuesdays and Thursdays. You can go there and get hands-on help with your college applications. You know, Jonathan, it's scary to think that some people haven't even started their apps. You're right, that's terrifying. But it does remind me of something. Is it the college application workshops, which includes help with financial aid on Tuesday and Thursday at 5th and 6th period? Oh yeah, that's it. Cavs, if you're interested in attending, make sure to pick up an activity slip from the college office. And for more information, don't forget to visit our amazing college counselors in the college office in I-126. That's all from us. Now, back to our amazing hosts. So, Mayumi, you seriously don't watch cartoons. That's impossible. I mean, I used to, but like, not anymore. I have too much responsibilities going on. Responsibilities? Yeah, I have so much to do in order to graduate. Like what? I feel like you should know this. Well, I'm not a senior. Well, let's just ask senior news. Rise and shine, Cavs. It's Keelan. And Samira here with your senior news. Can you believe we're at the halfway mark of the first semester of our senior year? Already? Time has gone by so fast. It feels like just last year I was watching Powerpuff Girls. I miss coming home after school to watch cartoons with my friends. Speaking of friends, seniors, you can now start nominating your friends or even yourself for senior superlatives. The Google form will open on October 17th till the 21st, so make sure to start as soon as you can with your campaigns. There'll be up to 30 categories ranging from most spirited to most likely to be seen on Shark Tank. Stay updated with at 2023 Cavaliers for more info on this. I already know who's gonna win, most likely to be mistaken as a freshman. Who? Jonathan. Oh, I'd love to capture that moment if he wins. Just like capturing your senior portraits, the deadline has been extended to November 5th. It is the last day to make an appointment to get your photos taken. Remember, seniors, take them through White Studios at the Northridge or North Hollywood location. And if you do not, you will not be featured in this year's yearbook. One more thing, the mock election results are in. Gavin Newsom won for governor and Alex Padilla won for senator. Lastly, all propositions except for Prop 27 resulted with a yes of majority vote. Well, that's a wrap with this week's senior news. Now back to your hosts. Now that was a lot. Now you know how I feel. But even after that, there's still so much time in the day to watch cartoons. You know what? I'm going to get you to watch a show or something. I have to at this point. When? I mean, there's after school. I'm still busy attending sports games. Well, that is important, supporting our Cavaliers. I mean, yeah. Don't you know how many sports we have? So many. Let's head on over to Sports News to see what's up with them. Good morning, Cavs, and welcome to Sports News. I'm your host, Finn. And I'm your other host, Enzo. We've got a lot to talk about in the world of athletics, so let's not waste any time. We here at Sports News would like to congratulate the seniors on the girls' volleyball team who had their senior night on Tuesday. Let's give a solid clap for the team. The girls' volleyball team is also going against Silmar on Monday, so make sure you show up. In other news, the boys' water polo team just beat Eagle Rock with a score of 27 to 13. Even though bald eagles are known for being good swimmers. So nice work, team. Finally, one of the most important games is happening today. Mountains will fall, oceans will boil, the very sky it's will- the Cleveland versus Granada football game. Dude, you better show up at Granada after school today for the greatest football game of your life. Or of this month, at least. And that concludes this week's sports news. I'm Enzo. And I'm tired. Now for some exciting highlights of our football team practicing. They too busy celebrating and taking their time. But I already know I'm going to get it now, though. I'm going to get it now, though. I'm not slowing down, though. How do you even get here? 
Oh, it's kind of cute. What's happening? Hey, Penny, what did you drop under there? I didn't drop anything. Then what's that under there? I don't see anything. Under where? <laughs> <laughs> What just happened? I think, I think we were just in a cartoon. That was kind of fun. Fun? I'm so confused. Oh, don't be so boring. It was fun. Let's just continue the show before anything else happens. Let's head on over to Club News. OMG, Emma, I can't believe that we were just in a cartoon. <laughs> Never mind that, Jocelyn. It's time for us to do Club News. Cavs, are you ready for the collab of the century? Coordinators, senior board, and GMS ambassadors have all been working hard on a special project. Join them for a spooktacular celebration on October 25th, featuring trunk or treating, a club carnival, and the return of the Hall of Horror. Keep an eye out for more information on this event. Now, on to clubs. The first club we have for you guys today is the Latinx Student Union. To educate the Latinx community on, and their allies on the culture and history of Latino peoples. They meet every Monday in E4 during lunch. You can find them on Instagram at chs.lsu. Next up, we have Cleveland's GSA. All are welcome, and if you're interested in learning about issues related to the LGBTQIA plus community, this will be a great club for you. Join them on Wednesdays at lunch in F3. Their Instagram is at cleveland.gsa. We also have Japanese Club. In their club, you can learn about the basics of Japanese language and culture. You can find them on Wednesdays at lunch in room G1. Their Instagram is at chs underscore Japanese Club. Anyways, Emma, have you ever heard me sing? Yeah, uh, you always sound so lovely. Let's watch this clip of band, dance, cheer, and most importantly, me and choir performing at the ribbon cutting ceremony. Club seemed fine to me. Not as effective as you, though. Okay, okay. Looking back on it, I kind of look good as Gumball, you know? See, it was not that bad. I would personally be Leslie if I had a choice, though. Well, let's see what our Cavs would be if they were a cartoon character. Roll the clip. What's up, Cavs? It's me, Mayumi, here at your question of the week. For today, I'm going to be asking our Cavaliers, if you were to be a cartoon character, who would you be? If you were to be any cartoon character, who would you be? Um, Beast Boy from Teen Titans Go. Um, I'd probably be Santa's little helper from The Simpsons because he reminds me a lot of my dog, Sunny. Goofy from Mickey Mouse. Um, I would be Raven from Teen Titans, not Teen Titans Go, just to be specific. Uh, SpongeBob. I would be Zero from The Nightmare Before Christmas. Now that's it for this week's Question of the Week. Now, back to your host. I'm starting to get the hype behind cartoons now. See, they're not all bad. But if what you said earlier about cartoons affecting our personalities was true, 
That makes so much sense about some of you guys. Wait, I thought that cartoons were supposed to have a moral, though. What was the one behind the one we did? I don't know. Uh, what cartoon has a moral behind it nowadays? Well, a good moral I know is to not be late. That reminds me, we have to go to Late Breaking News. This is Alexi presenting Late Breaking News. If you've been feeling blue or orange because you can't keep up with all this info, have no fear. I have good news for you. If you like saving money and want to have this year's yearbook, make sure you visit yearbookforever.com and order your yearbook before December 31st for $10 off. If you'd like to go by a different name in the yearbook, name change requests are accepted until October 28th. To submit your request, visit at Cleveland HS Yearbook on Instagram, fill out the Google form in their bio, or stop by G5 before school or during lunch. If you're 16 years and older and if you want to save up to three lives, you should sign up for this year's blood drive with an ASB member. The deadline to register is October 24th, and the blood drive will be held on November 15th. Last but not least, let's not forget about our anti-littering contest. Our winners for this year are Ev Evelyn Alvarado and Kayla Doe. Congratulations, and shout out to the last week's competition, Band, Percussion, and Guard, for having the highest scores in all three categories. That's it. Now back to your host. Breaking always saves the day with the last minute news. Well, there's always something that comes after late breaking news. Oh, I know, I know. Birthday, birthday shout outs. Happy birthday to Madison from Thomas and happy birthday to Monica from your best friend. Happy birthday to Anthony Guerrero from Matthew. Happy birthday to Victoria from your core block and happy birthday to Jivey from Gain Squad. Happy birthday to JJ and Samir from your friends Maria and Izzy and happy birthday to Sid from B. Happy birthday to Patrick O'Hara from your family, and happy birthday to Lizzie from Cheese Miendo plus Maya. It seems as if we're at the end of our show. It's a little sad, but we'll always have today to remember. I mean, I don't t think you typically forget the day where you physically go into a cartoon. Well, I guess we'll see you guys next time. Here in the same place. It's Mayumi. And Liel, saying goodbye with your KC. AV. KCAP News. News. Hey, this is 102.9 K2L Radio, and I'm coming to you live from Atlanta, Georgia, with the legendary Robert.